Hello everyone, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. I am an independent designer of Chalk Tour, and today is going to be a little bit longer video than usual because I'm going to be using April's Club. All right, this is our exclusive club transfer for Club Sub club couture subscribers as well as for designers but i'm going to be using this transfer on their aiden frame this is a 9 by 12 surface this is magnetic as well as reusable but i'm going to show you two ways that you can use this transfer on this surface you can use it it's going to be either vertical as well as horizontal so with that i'm going to be showing you how to clean your transfer I will also be showing you how to clean the Aiden frame also. Any of the products that I am using that do not come with the club, I will also have an editable shopping cart link posted down below. So that way if you'd like to get the buzzing cloth, if you'd like to get some of the bright white paste, which I will be using today, if you want to get the Aiden frame, you are welcome to do that. All right, now... I will have also a link posted down in the description box so you can read up about Club Couture. And if you'd like to sign up and join... By all means, I would be appreciative if you did. And I will have that link down, post down below. If you sign up through me, Crafty Chalk and Creations, I do earn a small commission, and I do appreciate that. So um, the colors that you get and what you get with the club, uh, within the United States, it's $21.99. It does get shipped to your house for free. You will receive this exclusive transfer, as well as three coordinating color paste packets that Chocotour had decided would go very well with their design transfer for that month. And the three colors are going to be sage. Now I'm showing you these are the jars. You'll receive a paste packet like this, okay? And the color sage, bark, and black velvet. Now today I'm going to be using the sage and I will be also using the bright white. Now I will have that in the editable shopping cart link, the bright white as well as the buzzing cloth and the Aiden frame, or anything else that, like I said, does not come with your club. Um, but I did want to show you, these These are like the paste packets you will receive. And if you are a new subscriber, they will also send you a mini squeegee, which I think is awesome. Uh, so that way it helps you with your creative journey. Now, the paste packets, when you do receive them with your club, make sure you knead them very well. Make sure it's good and mixed in there. Then open from the bottom, just clip it across or the corner, however you want to do it. Okay, so that way if you like the color, you know uh, the color to order. I used to not do that and it's like, okay, what's the name of it? <laughs> so that's just my own little tip. You can do it however you would like. All right, I'm going to get started. Some other things you're going to need. I will add the board erasers. I will also add the scraper. But things you're going to need, you're going to need some disinfectant wipes. You'll also need a spray bottle of water and some paper towel. Okay, those are the additional things you're going to need. All right, I'm going to set aside my Aiden frame. Now your transfer does come with some care instructions on the back of it, as well as this plastic sleeve. You want to keep it for storage. Now, when you receive your transfer, you want to mark the back of it with a Sharpie marker because they have a new manufacturer and the back of it still is a little shiny. The other one used to be a bit more matte and it's easy to get it a little bit mixed up. So just with a little Sharpie, just mark an arrow or whatever you want to do. That way you know which side to put your transfer back on. So I'm going to set that sleeve aside. Now your transfer is on a backer sheet. All you need to do is peel it off. Okay. And you want to keep this because that's what you're going to put your transfer on once it's clean and dry. Now this is a fuzzing cloth. And why you need to fuzz this is because these are sticky. They are reusable chocolate tour states anywhere from 8 to 12 times. As you can see, they're sticky which is wonderful, but you don't want it so sticky to where it gets uh, adhered to your surface so well, you could possibly stretch and ruin your transfer. You do not want to do that. So that's why you need to fuzz. Now, the Aiden frame surface is quite smooth, so you will need to fuzz several times. But if you do not have a fuzzing cloth, you can use a towel, a t-shirt, a piece of fabric, just something that is going to help take some of that stickiness off. So 
So this could take several times, depending on your surface. If it already has a little bit of texture to it, it won't take as many times. And if you want to use this on fabric, you do not need to fuzz. All right, I think that feels pretty good for now. We'll find out here in a minute. Now, the first way I'm going to do this project is going to be the entire design. Oops, I got a little fuzzy on here. Now, you can measure if you would like to. I, for the most part, do eyeball my projects. That's totally up to you. I think that looks pretty good. It's a little difficult with their new transfers. I like it because they are more transparent. So if you want to reposition them or um, to see to put on another surface, like certain sections, um, it makes it a lot easier. But unfortunately, on camera, it is more difficult for you to see. <laughs> so I'm going to smooth this over with my hands. Um, I'm going to pull this up to see if it still grips very well. If it does, if you're like really having to pull, then you're going to need to fuzz some more. Okay. So all you need to do is smooth this over with your hands. Just to make sure there's no air bubbles. And another thing I like about the uh, transfer and these transfers, you can see more so if there's like a little, little fuzzy or something in an area that could possibly cause your paste to seep underneath. So, I'm just trying to make sure this is smoothed down well. All right, I think we are ready to go. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be using bright white, and I am going to be using the sage. And that's the paste color that will be coming with your uh, one of the paste packets. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the border in white. I'm going to do, um, actually, yes, I am. I'm going to do that in white. I'm going to do the little rooster, or the chicken, the hen, and also the pig. I'm going to do that in the white. I'm going to do the farm fresh in the sage. Now, because of the frame of that, I'm going to be doing what I call the peel and lift method. So that's another thing that you will be learning in this video, because you do not want your paste to dry too quickly. Um, in your silk screen. These are silk screen. And if it does, it clogs up the holes. That way you, you know, your design won't come out as well the next time you go to use it. All right. I apologize. We, I, I live by a train track and uh, fortunately Horn Honk and Henry decides to come by right now. Um, I did forget to get my little uh, plate that I use. I, this is my own personal thing. that I'd like to put my, my squeegee on. Okay. So you take your mini squeegee, it has a bevel edge, and you just put it in your paste. Now your paste you can put in on a plate, another plate that you have, and just squeegee it out. Alright. And then you just generously apply it to your transfer. You can always scrape off the excess. Now I'm going to do this in sections. To show you the peel and lift. And also how to clean your squeegee. Okay. Scrape off the excess. Now, for you, you would scrape it off on your plate. And then, you, while you scrape off this excess, that way you know you have good, even coverage. your squeegee. If you have a cloth that you, you know, want to rewash or something like that, you don't. You can use that. You don't have to use a paper towel. Now, I wanted to do Farm Fresh in Sage. What is this Sage? It is a gorgeous color. I'm 
probably could have done the little checkers in white, but oh well. There's two little checker squares that coordinate with the uh, the border, and I didn't do those in white, but that's okay. And scrape off the excess. Again, I'm going to clean off my squeegee because I'll need to go back into the white. Now, this is the peel and left. All you want to do is peel your transfer up and start at the corners and start in the middle. Okay. And you just slowly peel it up. Okay. Try to let it get a little skim coat and then you just lay it down. That's all you need to do is just lay it back down. And any of the areas that you lift it up that you have not pasted yet, then you just press it back down with your finger. Okay. Now I'm going to do some more of the border and I'm going to do the little rooster hen and the pig. I'm going to do that in the white. So I go back in my white paste. And go over your design. You just generously apply it. You can scrape off the excess. I hope you like this project in this idea. I'm trying to give you some inspiration ideas and I'm also wanting to show you you can use this transfer in a different um, different way on the second uh, part. And what I also I like about this is you can use um, sections of this transfer like the Farm Fresh and you could have something else underneath it if you just want to use the border for another project, you could do that also. Okay, I need to clean this off. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Now we're going to peel and peel and lift. And just slowly peel up. Oh, I like how that's looking. I love this. There we go. Okay. Just lay it back down. And the areas that came up that you have not pasted yet, you just rub it with your finger. Back on your surface. Okay. I'm going to do the rest of my frame here. But anyway, um, if you could, I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. It helps me with YouTube algorithm. And also, if um, you like this video and you want to see other videos, if you could subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And be sure to click on that notification bell so that way you are notified by YouTube whenever I post another video. Okay, now I'm just going to scrape off the excess. There we have even coverage. Now I'm going to clean this off because I'm going to go back into the sage. That is a gorgeous color. It's a nice spring color. Or you can even use it for an autumn color. It has that warmth to it, that warmth shade of green. It's really nice, I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that down and now we're going to peel up the rest of it. Love how that turned out. I really like that. I that is just I do. I, I like that. That with that uh, check pattern around it. I do. I really love that. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside to dry. 
and I'm going to show you how to clean your transfer. I do I like how that turned out? I hope you enjoy that. That was really cute. I like that. All right, now my surface is washable. So if you have a surface that you are concerned with, just make sure that you have a mat or something that can be washed, that is washable, you know, wiped off. Or you can just get a little pan of water. You could do that too. But I'm just going to lay this down. I'm going to show you how to clean it. Here, let me get my cap on my paste before I do that. Minimize drying. And let me get my squeegee cleaned off. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Now, you're going to need a spray bottle of water. You spray it down. Now, your board erasers oops, will come like this in a two-pack. They're white. Mine has been well used and it's well loved. And all you do is you go over this. Now, this is the front part. This is the non-sticky side. You may have to do this a couple of times. You should take this to the sink. It does make it easier, but that's a whole nother setup that I would have to do. And quite frankly, I just didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> spray it down. Use some paper towel. Kind of going for that a little. A little hard there because I want to try to get some of this out. So the lines are what give the detail. You want to try to make sure you get that clean. Okay, now I'm going to peel this up. I'm going to wipe that off. Now I'm going to lay it sticky side up. I'm going to spray it down. You do not want to soak these in water because it could affect the adhesive. Now I'm going to use, use my board eraser. In the silk screen parts, I'm going to go over kind of lightly, but you want to um, try to get that paste out of that silk screen. Sometimes I do what I call the dab and scrub method. <laughs> you don't want to scrub too hard because you could still remove the adhesive, but you want enough to Try to get that paste out and those little details. disinfectant wipe. Do not use baby wipes because they um, they can remove the adhesive. Must be a disinfectant wipe. Okay, I'm going to lift this up. Dry off my surface. You want to hold it up and make sure that you don't see any paste in there. See, like right in here, I see a little bit of paste. So, I need to spritz that again. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing, sorry. Down. Oops. 
My head's in the way. over everything with a disinfectant wipe. Try this. Now you can leave this to air dry if you want to. If this, that's the only project. You're happy with that and you just you're good with it for now. Then you just leave it sticky side up on a towel to let it dry and you just let it air dry and then you apply it to your backer sheet. But I want to show you also, you can use this transfer horizontally in the Aiden frame. Okay, need some paper towel here to dry this. And your fuzzing cloth can also be used to dry, which is what I'm gonna do here. So that way I'm ready to get going on my next project. feels like it's dry. I'm going to show you how you put it on your backer sheet too. I just decided to do that right now. You, you take your backer sheet to your transfer, not vice versa. And what I do is I line up on the bottom or the top, whatever you're comfortable with. That's why you mark it. And then you just smooth it over. And there your transfer is. And then you just put it back in your sleeve and it's ready for your next project. So I'm going to set this aside. Let me show you how to clean your Aiden frame. Right. I do. I like how I really do like that. And I like those colors. You can use whatever colors you would like. You know, you can do it all white. You can do it all sage green. You could use um, their eggshell blue, which is a gorgeous color. It's kind of a bluish green color. I was thinking about doing that. I might still do that. You can pick whatever colors you would like. All right. Now, to clean your Aiden frame, spray it down with some water. Take your finger and you just kind of rub in. Get some of that water to absorb into that paste. Now, this is freshly done. This has not had a chance to cure. Like, let's say you leave it up, you know, your design for a month, and then you get your new club and you want to use the surface, it will be a little bit um, harder. The paste hardens up. It cures is what I call it. That's when this handy dandy scraper comes in. I love this scraper. And all you do is you just take your scraper. Now you don't have to use it, but it does make things go a lot quicker and easier. You just use your scraper. You scrape that paste off. To the sink and clean it and then you use a piece of paper towel to try to get up that excess paste that you just scraped up okay then what you do is you spray it down again because when you do that sometimes you'll have a ghosting effect that's when you use your board eraser again and you just go over it it with your board eraser. Then you wipe it down with a piece of paper towel. Get up. And dry it. And 
And there you go. Once it's dry, it is ready for your next project. Now I do have, um, hold on one second. I just thought about it. Now I have this available in my group. So you will have to join my group, my, my VIP group. And it's for U United States residents. That's just, that's who I ship to, is the U.S. residents. But I do have one of these available. These are the eight, it's a sheet. It's the same thing as this, except for it is an individual sheet. So that way, if you want, in the back of it, it has texture to it, but the front of it is smooth. This is the film you'll have to pull off. But um, that way, if you want to customize this, you want to add this to a piece of wood, now the edges, the points and edges are sharp. I will have a warning label on there and I will, you know, protect the corners during shipment. But I do have this available in my group. This is the only one I have left and the rest of them, they're out of stock. But this is a way, if you have a frame, you've been thrift shopping, you have a frame that you want to make magnetic and reusable, this is a perfect solution for that. I will have a link so you can join my do-it-yourself do group and, um... I do have a video demonstrating this, basically what I'm showing you right now, and um, I can give you a, the, the link, but that is only for my group members, so be sure to join. And But if you are a designer, unfortunately it's against Chalk Couture's rules, I will find out you will be removed. Um, this is for customers, so that is an option for you if you have a frame you'd like to go ahead and make reusable and magnetic. All right, now for the other project. Now I'm going to be using, it's pretty much going to be the same way, except for we're going to go horizontal. And peel it off your backer sheet. As you can see, it's sticky. We've cleaned it. It's sticky. So we're going to need our fuzzing cloth here. Or like I said, a towel. We're going to need to fuzz it. So if you did not want to use the checkerboard frame, here's another option. Okay, and I would be using the same colors. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it all sage or I just want to do it white. I haven't decided. You know what, I think I'm going to do it all bright white. Okay. Now, like I said, you can measure this if you want to. I like to eyeball. So all we're going to do is you put it on your, same process. You just put it on your frame. Oh, that's still pretty sticky. I need to... <laughs> I need to fuzz this some more because I do not want to stretch and ruin my transfer. I think there's a lot of a lot of projects and designs that could be made with this transfer. Unfortunately, due to personal circumstances, I was not able to get any videos posted. Friends and family, they know what was going on. So, my plan is to get, show you some more projects here between now and the end of April of what you can do with this transfer. All right. I'm just eyeballing it. Like I said, you are welcome to measure. Same thing, you just smooth it over. Now, I'm not doing any of the border. I'm just going to do the Farm Fresh and the Organic little hand and wrister. So same thing, you just want to make sure this is smoothed down. Now I thought about doing it like with the farm fresh and the green and do this in the white, but you know what? I think I'm going to do it all in the white. The bright white. So here's my bright white and here's my squeegee in the same process.
except for this time because we're using all one color it's going to go a little bit quicker I don't have the border um, you know or be worried about it drying really quick so this is going to be pretty much a one and done type project we won't have to do the peel and left when you're using it sometimes with multicolors you do need to do the peel and left it depends on the design okay let's scrape the excess back off just go over this make sure I have good even coverage Now we're going to peel and reveal. And just slowly peel up so that way if you missed a spot you can lay it back down and touch it up. There we go. Same same design, but it does give you a different look. Now I did not take a photograph of the previous one, so I will not be able to show you a picture at the end. I'll have to, well, I'll see if I can get a screenshot, but I don't think so. I can try it. Learn some technology. All right, now until I can get to the sink and clean this, I already showed you how, to, how you can clean it, not at the sink. I'm just going to lay this down here on a towel, sticky side down, and spray it with some water to try to keep that silk screen moist. But this is the other way, and that is a different look. Same transfer, but without that border, it does give it a different look. I do. I hope you enjoyed me showing you two different ways that you can use that transfer on the same surface, how to clean it, how to clean your surface, and uh, you go ahead and you join. Sign up through that link. I would greatly appreciate it. And join. We just ask that you commit for three months at least. So it was greatly appreciated. And I do. I hope you enjoyed this. You have a wonderful day and take care and thank you for watching.